It's me again, my Cardi. We about to get. I'm looking for Angel. I'm a friend. I'm sure you are. Ladies and gentlemen, please clear the floor. In this life, balls are all that matters. Dancers tell stories with their bodies. You can feel it. Promise me you'll protect yourself. Hey, there's my Jersey boy. How are we paying for all these things? <laughs> so what's she like? What up? I'm back. Yes, we about to get into dang compose. Yes. <laughs> Let me tell you, last night's episode was awesome. Um, it definitely did not disappoint me whatsoever. I think that Ryan Murphy is really taking this thing in the right direction. Um, like I said, I mean, he's he's really doing the damn thing. So, like I said, we're going to really see how this whole thing takes off. But before we even get into the entire episode, I just want to give a big shout out to all of my family, which means my subscribers. I love you all. Thank you all so much for just believing in me and just supporting me. And uh, if you have not gotten to the channel, please get into the damn My Car TV channel. I got plenty of material for all of you all to get into, okay? And uh, while you're waiting, like I said, hit that like and hit that share button. Boom. So, pose last night. Um, the episode was titled Access, and um, it really um, it said a lot because this episode touched base on a few different things, and uh, mainly like transgender discrimination, also, you know, house recognition and what it means to climb the charts in the ballroom scene, and also what it means and where it can get you whenever you are unclockable in the transgender world. And it's also unclockability in all different facets of uh, the gay life, but mainly transgender, I would say the DL world too, um, is where you know, unclockability kind of falls into the damn place. But, boom. Anywho, whatever. First thing I'm seeing, they at the damn ball. And, uh, yes, they doing damn weather girl realness. And so my girl Angel's out there serving the girl's love. She gets tens, tens, tens across the motherfucking boards. And I was like, yes, ma'am. Yes, I was feeling the whole fro and the and everything and the outfit she had on. She was giving she was giving it out there and um but it was really nobody to compete against her. So like I said, it was a given she was gonna win that category. Meanwhile, that was the first thing gonna win for the House of Evangelista. So you got the House of Abundance is sitting across the way with Mother Abundance, Miss Electra, who is um pretty much over there shading and hating and stuff. So that's some piss Blanca off. So she storms out to the back to go try and find her impromptu outfit because she's like, I'm about to go challenge this bitch or whatever. And, um, yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to go uh, set this motherfucker off because this upcoming category, I forgot what the hell it was. You know, they got a thousand categories in the ballroom scene. Um, was where Miss Electra reigned supreme for the last six years. So, you know, she was already like, I got this shit in the bag. You know, I was not feeling her whole entire outfit, that little blue that she had on with the little fan thing. I don't, I, I wasn't feeling it. Like I said, it just won't cute to me. But anywho, dang on, um, Blanca's in the bag. She tells, dang on, Poppy to tell, pray tell to, like, you know, we about to do a challenge. And... She comes out with her dang on flamingo pink outfit on with her hat and everything. She starts strutting her stuff. And I was like, yes, ma'am, go ahead. And she was looking really good. I got to give her credit with it. That outfit came together real quick, real nicely and stuff. So they just let you know that, man. She got the ability to pull that shit together real quick. So they gets to judging. So dang on Mr. Electra, she gets tens, 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 nine. She's like, uh, what the fuck is really going? 
going on here or whatever. Like, you got to be crazy. She's like, mother, please. You look like the inside of a damn coffin. I'm like, these bitches is shady. And a motherfucker out here. And so, damn, Miss Blanca, she gets tens, 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 tens across the motherfucking boards. I'm like, yes, bitch. Go ahead, work, okay? For real, for real, because you did the damn thing. That was like the first big-ass win for her as mother of the House of Evangelista. And so now they are actually climbing their way up to the top. And so now this is where Pray Tell lets the girls know, like, okay, House of Evangelista, th these bitches is here to stay, okay? So this done struck a damn nerve with Mother Abundance while you got Miss Blanca. She out in the back on uh, talking with Damon on the step. They celebrating and stuff, just just excited about the situation. Mother comes up, Miss Electra, and she's just like, uh-uh, you and Pray Tell, y'all had this whole thing real. He created your outfit, all that, so you can come up there and try and upstage me, bitch, or whatever. And damn, Blanca's like, girl, bye. We up here, we're the international house to be looking out for. You need to sit the fuck down because your ass is damn old. Out with the old and with the new bitch okay so i was like yes ma'am blanca get the girl what she need or whatever so blanca skedaddles all damon still sitting there because they about to go to ihop um and uh pretty much this little cute little dude comes up and he pretty much starts flirting with damon this is damon's first interaction with another male um from what we know as far as the uh, cameras go you know and um Pretty much, he's kind of smitten because the dude is kind of cute or whatever. Dude sitting there talking to him or whatever, and they, they talk about going to get something to eat. You know, dude grabs his crotch, talking about how he goes to go get stuff out of the store, how he can pack it up. I don't know. It was, the conversation kind of got a little whatever for these two. So they end up leaving. Hold on. Before they leave, down Blanca... um comes back by and she's like, okay, what's going on here? Because she kind of clocks the whole situation. She's like, um, okay, he looks like he's a damn bad boy, but uh, I like them tight. Just make sure your ass is home by 4 a.m. So, boom. Dang on. Boy comes back. His name is Ricky, by the way. And they skedaddles off and they goes over to the damn pier where they just kind of dang on chit-chat chit and stuff like that or whatever about Janet Jackson and everything. And, um, Pretty much, she's uh, well. Damon's telling um, Ricky how he, 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 how Janet Jackson's really iconic and stuff out here, and how you'll see how she's gonna be in like twenty years. And he's like, "Oh, really? You going You think we're gonna be together that long, or whatever?" So that right there, you know, Damon, that was kind of your red flag, bitch. That was your red flag when he made that little statement. I'm gonna need for you to pick up on these little telltale signs because motherfuckers will give you telltale signs and let you know how they want to be in your damn life. But, like I say, he knew to it. He got him a little cute little dude or whatever that's trying to dang on holler. So, he all over it. He don't know the damn ropes yet. But, bitch, you know, you looking at this damn review, damn it, bitch. Okay? Just know these motherfuckers out here, they'll damn shoot you a dream, bitch, okay? And they'll tell you what you want to hear. You just got to pick up on it, okay? You got to pick up on the, on the flags, all right? So, anywho, um, they end up leaving from there or whatnot. And um, Ricky takes them off, and, and they go running or whatever. And he leaves Damon, and Damon's kind of like, okay, what the fuck is going on in this, like, warehouse? And, and it's kind of stanking, according to Damon. And the dude jumps out, and it's like, boo. And um, he's like, you scared the shit out of me, pretty much. And so they end up kissing and all that, and the dude's like, you know what I'm saying? You're going to be a star. You know, I love you, and uh, I just want to be with you. And, you know, dang on, Damon's like, hold the fuck up. Wait a damn minute, dude. Like, this is my first time. I ain't never done nothing like this. Meanwhile, the whole time the dude grabbing his ass and stuff. You know how the people do when they horny or whatever. They get the grabbing and groping and feeling. And, yeah, they start shooting you all kind of dreams and shit. So, that's pretty much what he was doing. And um, that whole little scene kind of ends right there, you know. Because he's just like, no, let's, let's go out. I want to do this the right way. We can go out and get us something to eat on Saturday next week. And um, let's, let's go get some pizza and do, it, do, it like, do a little date thing. So he was like, okay. All right, all right, I'm cool with that. So meanwhile, time then got away from him. He tried to come back to the house or whatever Damon that is. And Blanca's 
you know, on to him because he's trying to creep through and, and the whole house is creaky and making all kind of noises and stuff. But mother, she's up. She's like, uh -uh, I told your ass to be here at 4 a.m. and your ass ain't here at 4 a.m. So where the hell is you at? And all that. So she's like, okay, Damien, is that you? Bring it on in here front and center. And he like, you know, yes, mother. And um, she like, where the hell have you been? If you're going to be up in this house, you got to abide by my rules. I hope you was not out doing no type of crazy stuff. Was you doing drugs? Did you have sex? Did you know all the motherly things? She's just rapping off. And, she, and he's like, no, you know, um... Time just kind of got away from me. You know, I didn't want to be out there having sex with that dude my first time being on the pier. I wanted to be something special, you know. And, and she's just like, you know, if you're going to be here, you have to abide by the rules. I'm going to have to kick you out. Um, you know, it, it's stuff out here for you or whatever, like, you know, that can kill your ass. And you really just need to take precautions. She started giving him pamphlets and stuff, telling him where he can go get uh, condoms and things if he ever needs them so that he's not out here unprotected in the world. And that was just like a great little moment for the whole episode because I really feel like that families, you know, in general need to sit down with their children and talk to them about STD and not let their children find out about STDs through the school system. You know, take the time out with your child and teach them about STDs. In this situation, she's been a good house mother because she's letting him know, like, I don't want you to fall in a situation that I don't fell into, but he doesn't know that she has HIV. At least I don't think so. It hasn't been revealed like that. So, um... He's kind of like, you know, what do I, when will I know when it's the right time and, and, and how will I know, you know, what I like? And she's just like, you know, with guys, you know, you either top or bottom or you could be verse. You got that option. And he just like, how do I know? She's like, you you will know. Your conscience will tell you. Your body will tell you or whatever. And uh, to me, I'm like, Damon, bitch, you, you know, you a bottom. You probably could be a verse bottom. Or whatever, but you know the way you be twirling and going on, girl, or whatever. You know, whatever. You might you might the pass for old butch queen or whatever. I'm not sure. Mm, I'm not sure, but you give me bottom to me. That's my take on it. Anywho, anywho. So um, Blanca just kind of like you know take care of yourself. She's like, if I could go back in time and change things, then. I could. She has her little moment where he goes to bed and she's just kind of sitting there with herself and she's crying. Boom. So next day, Blanca's at the dang on bar and uh, she invites her old friend out from the house of uh, abundance and she's uh, it's, she's kind of inviting her out for a drink and everything. A celebratory drink because they done beat uh, Miss Elantra. So she pretty much uh, Miss Electra. I done call her Elantra. <laughs> I done demoted the damn bitch to a Hyundai. Miss Electra, they done beat her ass in the ball. And um, pretty much she's trying to have a celebratory drink. And little does they know, that's like a uh, bar that does not accept transgender. So at this point in time, the bartender's kind of like, you know, I can serve you a drink, but uh, after this drink, y'all gonna have to get the fuck up out of here. And, and she's, and the friend, you know, her sister's just like, you know, girl, I knew I shouldn't have came here. And Blanca's like, oh, hell no. I got rights. Like, this this shit ain't right. We ain't going no damn where. And I'm like, you know, that's right, Blanca. Shit, if your ass don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. And um, y'all already paving the damn way by being transgender. So go ahead and use your platform, honey, and, and do what's right, you know, and, and make a way for the, for the children. So, that was her whole position. Anywho, the girls get kicked the hell out or whatever. Um, and it just kind of shows you the whole discrimination. Like, even amongst the gays or whatever. Like, it's gays. It's discrimination amongst, like, the DLs and the out people and, and, and the femmes and, and the masculines and things like that. And the transgenders and the, and the drag queen. Like, it's just all types of discrimination everywhere. And I feel like that, you know, this type of... Um, 
program right here, if people just start watching all these different areas of gay or whatever, it'll help us understand and come to a mutual understanding. Maybe we won't do each other and treat each other those types of ways. I know things have came more united here in the 2000s and stuff like that, but mind you, this is filmed back in 1987, so what Blanca was doing at that point in time was very grand, and it was very much so a stellar thing to do, and she was putting her life at risk at that time because, like I say, at that time, at that time, from what I understand, transgenders were looked at as, you know, freaks or whatever. They was not accepted amongst the public. And even to this day, you know, they got the shit going on with the bathroom bill. I'm from North Carolina and everything where they introduced that bullshit. So, I mean, even to this day, he's still facing discrimination. So, for her to do that, that was a step in the right direction. And what has got them to the dang on screen of filming this type of show right now so that was that was key right there and i really appreciate them putting that part in there because that was that was sound and i love it um boom so next day uh damon's at his first day of dance school and he's pretty much killing the whole thing to where he done got a, a compliment from the uh dean and she done invited him out to the ballet and, and for free tickets and stuff and uh, mind you he's supposed to have his little date with his friend ricky on saturday but he like fuck that i done got invite, invited to the ballet and this is my dream or whatever so like I say, moving right along, dang on. Poppy and Angel, they at the house, you know, eating dinner and stuff. And uh, Blanca, at this point, calls a mandatory meeting. And, and, and while she's calling a mandatory meeting, she done pretty much called out Poppy like, hey, where did you get that damn scooter from? Uh, not scooter, but skateboard. Um, he just like, you know, I got it how I got it. And you're like, okay, uh, you better not be selling no damn drugs up out of my house. You know, and she's like, you know. I make money, dude. You know, I make money. You know, it's no no biggie. So he's kind of playing it down, but something tells me that he has some other shit or whatever. Because how you come from off the dang on street and you got brand new stuff, but you ain't got no dang on job. Although he did he say he worked at the bodega. So I take that back. All right. So I could be jumping ahead, but I don't know. Uh, anywho, so he talks about dang on. Uh, well, Damon talks about canceling his date with Ricky because he got a, um, he got the ticket to go to the ball and he got invited by his uh, dean. And pretty much at this point in time, Poppy lets him know. He's like, oh, Ricky? He's like, Ricky, you need to watch out for him because Ricky's the hit it and quit it type right there. So, boom. Damon, you got your motherfucking warning. And I hope you heard what he said at that point in time. Um, because, like I say... He then already gave you a verbal red flag to your face, Ricky did. And now the homie that knows Ricky is telling you and also your house brother, get it together, sis, okay? So, um, pretty much Blanca reveals how she got kicked out the bar and everything and how it's time for her to go fight and protest and all that. So, she reveals to the house, like, that's what she's going to be doing. So, boom, the next night or later on that night, she goes to the bar. Pretty much, she gets kicked out and all that after she demands a drink and, um... They pretty much like, okay, don't bring your ass back around here. The owner done came out, and, and all all the gay boys is mad because she done brought herself up in there. And they all they want is dick. They don't want no evidence to fish up in the motherfucking building, okay? Moving right along. Dang, on, we get to dang on Stan Bo and his wife. They at the house pretty much calculating bills and stuff. But, you know, you can tell that they upgraded some things because some new things in the house. And, um... The wife, she's just pretty much pressuring him because she's like, I want more stuff. I want a dishwasher. I want all this. I want that. And um, Stan's like, what the fuck? Like, okay, I, I got to go. You getting on my nerves on going to the office. And she's like, okay, on a Saturday? On a Saturday? And I'm like, yes, ma'am, honey. You don't even know, bitch. You about to be motherfucking replaced. Little do you know. In a little bit, you keep acting a fucking fool like that. So moving right along, okay? Anywho, they had the... Um, ballet um damon is with his teacher and his classmates and stuff and uh ricky's pretty much waiting on him at the pizza parlor pissed the fuck off because he done got stood up he done you know cancel his plans you know and, and he just pissed so he trashes the pizza and all while damon's at the damn um ballet getting all emotional because he can really see himself on this platform and so it's really inspirational for him at this point in time and he just like you know ricky gonna have to fucking deal with it Boom. So, 
Dang, are we moving right along? Stan, he's um pretty much goes to the whole stroll looking for Angel, cause you know he like a little mm, yeah, nah, 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 bow, okay? He like him a little dick, bitch, or whatever. At least looking at it, cause from what we understand, they haven't damn um had any type of a relationship or anything like that. As far as we know, they got an emotional connection. So he has like this DL lifestyle that he's living. Homegirl lets her know like uh, she don't work out here no more. She done got her job up on Times Square where she's working indoors. And um, he goes down there to um, visit her at the bookstore. And uh, you know, these bookstores and, and, and the gay boys know, the girls know the bookstore, it goes down up in there. You got the glory holes, all types of stuff going on. So, uh, at this particular one, these is where you got the showgirls, and they just behind this little screen or this window, and they just dance and dance and dance, and people come get their little peekaboo. So, he explains to the people, pays his money, that he's going to go see Angel and... Um, He's trying to convince them that it's a real girl. And they're like, oh, okay, whatever. Go ahead, pay your money, get the fuck on. <laughs> and um, he's pretty much telling, uh, asking her, you know, why are you here? And telling her that, you know, you deserve a better life and stuff. And he wants to take her out to go get some uh, lunch or something if she has some time. So uh, she agrees. They go out to lunch. And... Um, Talking about the whole life and all this, that, and the third, but we'll get to that in just one moment. Let's move right along. We at the next scene where they pretty much uh, walking the ball. They at the ball, and um, they walk in the category of dynasty and all that. And uh, pretty much all the girls look a hot damn mess and stuff, but Mother Electra, she's ready to dang on serve because she done put on her best garments and everything. And so she walks and everything, gets tens across the boards, and um, she's a little bit pissed because she was expecting Blanca to be there, and um, there was pretty much no competition for her at this point in time because she done pretty much slayed all the other bitches at the ball. So, phone, let's move along, dang on. Angel, she's at the diner with Stan, and pretty much uh, Stan's telling her that, you know, I don't want you in the corner no more. What do I got to do to get you off this corner or whatever? Because I really think that you are upstanding person, and I, I just want I want the best for you. And um, he's just like, you know, I can get you an apartment. I can get you all these things. And um, pretty much Angel's like, okay, like, where are you willing to... You, I'm, I'm going to be kept or whatever, you know what I'm saying? You're going to put me up in the dang on house and pay for my bills and stuff for a year. So she's cool with that because that gets her off the corner. Plus, she has a consistent income. Then on top of that, like I said, she'll be in a safe haven. She won't have to fend for her life on the corner and stuff like that. So that's a good thing or whatever. And that's just the whole thing of... um. Uh, of being accepted and also, you know, the value of not being clockable at that time because she could pass for a real woman. So, therefore, she is able to, you know, reach that status, you know what I'm saying, that rich white woman status that some of these transgender um, ballroom girls was uh, trying to reach. And like Mother Electra, you know, where she's pretty much kept, you know. She don't work, but her rich white man takes care of her. Okay, so... um. At this point in time, Angel's like, you know, are you gay? Are you bisexual? You know, what the hell's going on? He's like, I'm a free spirit. Um, and um, he just like, I'm I'm into you because you're real. You know, you tell me you're you you you're a real person. You have real feelings and you have real dreams and stuff. To me, I'm just a brand. That's it. And um, I just look at you as like a real woman. And so she's actually flattered by the whole situation. And um. Pretty much, uh, she asks him, you know, do you believe in love? And uh, he lets her know, like, you know, I can't leave my wife or whatever, but we can have this whole rearrangement. So, phone, let's move him right along. Dang on. Um, Damon and Poppy, they pretty much walk in. And this is where Damon discovers that Poppy is doing some type of little side hustle where he's selling some type of narcotics on the side. What I will know exactly what it was, but he's the plug. And, um... In the meantime, Damon sees Ricky, and uh, he's talking to this girl named Midnight. Um, 
he pretty much is explaining to Ricky why he missed the date and all that. And uh, he's kind of, you know, Ricky's kind of trying to play hard to get at this point in time because he's just, he's a little bit upset. He's a little bit annoyed because I really do think that he was feeling um, Damon because Damon wasn't like all the other hoes out there that give Ricky the ass right out the first sight, whatever. And that's kind of what he's used to. So pretty much... Ricky plays this whole guilt trip role and everything like that and talking about how you you the first one to leave me behind and you know Damon feels bad so this is his first type of interaction with dude so he don't really know how to how to take the whole entire situation. So boom, let's move right along. Dang gone mother abundant storms up into dang on Blanca's job and shit. And um he's like, Okay, girl, I need you doing my nails and where the hell was you? Uh, the other night and um, Blanca's kind of like um, I just didn't show up you know what I'm saying I was at the gay bar you know and um, mother's kind of like I heard about you running at the gay bar Who, what are you trying to do you trying to protest and everything that's not your lane your place is at the damn ball or whatever and so they had this whole feuding back and forth and everything like that and um Pretty much, mother's just like, you know what I'm saying? You keep going in the direction that you're going and you're going to always be, be disappointed in life and everything. And um, Blanca's just kind of like, girl, bye. I'm fighting for my damn children and the people in the future. So, boom. She lets her know and uh, kind of reads her the hell down. Let's move right along to dang on the next thing where you got uh stan he's at trump towers and he's pretty much asking his boss for more money and everything uh he's promising to work extra hours and everything for extra extra 10 percent and at this point you know his boss is like okay what the hell is going on you just got this job okay i know what it is you got you a dang on chick on the side so like I say, um, Stan's kind of like, it's nobody. He's like, okay, you full of shit. It's some damn body. It got to be somebody for you to be asking for some more damn money. He's like, whatever you do, don't dang gonna leave your wife. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you got the promise that you work uh, extra hours on the weekend and whenever I need you to. So Stan agrees because he wants to genuinely take care of Angel while at the same time satisfying his wife because he's now living this whole double life or whatever. So it's just a matter of time but then gone. Him and Angel get the fucking and him and he get the sucking and all that stuff. So boom. Let's move right along. Dang on. Blanca takes her ass back to the damn bar. I don't know why she keep going back there but I do know why she keeps going back there because she's wanting to fight but it's like girl these people keep kicking you out so you know just you know pick and choose your battles but this time they call the cops on her which is what I was afraid was going to happen if she went back so they call the cops and all that because they refuse to serve her and they arrest her she's pretty much in jail they calling her all kind of stuff and trying to figure out what she is and she's just feeling really scared and apprehensive at the moment and um while she's sitting in there pretty much uh they tell her that she makes bail she don't know who posts bail for her finds out that it's mother electra and uh mother electra's kind of like you know i need your ass up out of here because you need to walk on friday so i can reclaim my damn title at the damn ball so that just lets you know how serious the ball was at that point in time because these girls like no bitch um we definitely got to be motherfucking on it okay so um Pretty much, she lets her know, you know, I did this a favor for you so you can dang on get out and you can be able to compete against me and uh, just know that, um, you know, you can never be me, you know. I'm the one who's unclockable and you're the one who's clockable. Uh, and, and pretty much at this point in time, you know, you're going to always look like a dang on man, you know, because you can't pass like I can. So, therefore, you're going to always run into a struggle. So, as she hops into her dang on cab, she tells her to go get on the damn subway, which is trifling as hell. She just wanted to get her out so she could beat her. Anywho, um, pretty much as she, uh, before she leaves, she's like, you know what I'm saying? Your place is at the ball, not protesting all these rights and stuff. So, anywho, moving right along, dang on, um, uh, 
Damon is at the pier. Uh, and he sees Ricky, and uh, he kind of wants to just start all over. They set a date for the upcoming Tuesday to go to the um, ballet. Uh, Damon wants to introduce Ricky to some new things, and uh, Ricky's just like, hell no. You know what I'm saying? And um, Damon's just kind of like, you know... Come on, dude. Like, really, you know, you know you want to go. I apologize. You know, we, we can really make this thing work. And um, at this point in time, Ricky's still playing hard to get. And, uh, and, and Damon's just like, no, I thought you wanted a new life. And so that kind of intrigues Ricky. And, um, you know, he agrees to go meet them, meet him on a date. And uh, at that point, damn, Damon sashays his ass away. So, boom. Let's move along, dang on. We at the ball, and um, it's uh, Femme Queen and Pumps. That's the category that they got going on. And uh, pretty much Blanca challenges uh, Miss Electra, Mother Abundance. And uh, Electra steps out, and um, she dang on walks the dang on ball. I will say this right here, Blanca, you was not slaying or whatever, but uh, I did want you to win. Uh, and I will also say that Mother Abundance wasn't slaying either because I wasn't feeling that damn black ass couch cover that she had on. But anywho, you know, Mother Abundance wins or whatnot. She gets tens across the dang on boards. And um, that's pretty much it. Like I say, that, that was... That was her redemption right there, but she still, that's not enough for her because I think that she still wants to keep dragging Blanca through the mud because she feels betrayed by Blanca or whatever. So, boom, let's move along, dang on. We on Tuesday night, and Damon and Ricky, they um, meet at the ballet, and um, Ricky's running a little bit late, so they finally um, go in, and they're kind of sitting there having a good time, you know, um, excuse me. Uh, Stan, he pretty much buys his wife the new dishwasher and stuff while at the same time showing Angel that he got the keys to the dang on lock for the new apartment. He ready to have her uh, ass up in there and so she could be his little regular talk buddy or fuck buddy or whatever the hell it is. Like I say, this whole uh, this whole series is the tea or whatever. It's some more shit going on next episode, okay? So, uh, Damon looks like he's going to be getting kicked up out of dance class or something like that or whatever. Angel uh, up in her new apartment and dang on Stan finds out about, finds out about Angel and the dang on... Um, uh, affair or whatnot through the boss or uh, uh, Stan's wife that is finds out about the dang on Angel and the affair and stuff like that. So let's like say we're going to get into it next week or whatever. I appreciate you all sticking out with me through this review. There was a lot going on. I know I talked about a few things, but uh, I love you all. Love you all. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. All right. Bye. <laughs>